to you another edition of the Ultimate Car 959 Top 30. Uh, if you remember properly when the show started, we had a song called Forever. Jackie and uh, Omale doing really, really well. Mm-hmm. Afrobeat, you love that sound. So today I decided I'm a Bagana Bagana fan. I love the Black Stars, so why not visit Ghana? We're all the way in West Africa today. How are you, Jackie? I'm doing amazing. How you are good? you doing? Yeah. All good, man. Jacqueline Achiampong joining me in studio. I had to practice that saying the whole night. You got it like, so perfect. Really? <laughs> you got it so perfect, yeah. She's a Ghanaian singer, songwriter, as well as performer. Ne? Afrobeat is her thing. We'll chat to you about all her music until where she is right now, right? But before we get to that, how you been? How was your trip here? My trip was smooth. Yeah. I've had a good rest, and so I'm ready to get on tour, get on my feet, and yeah. experience some nights life in South Africa as well. Yeah. Before we get to the music, right, I like to get to know my guests just a bit, if mm-hmm. I could call it that, right? I want to talk about your family, and of course, I'm going to start with the superstar of the family. I'm sure when I say the Lumba brothers, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> wow, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. So yeah. that's my dad. My dad is a high life legend from mm-hmm. Ghana, mm-hmm. and he had a group years ago with another artist so that was called the lumba brothers yeah yes so if you love high life music if you listen to a lot of Ghanaian sounds you should know my dad and his name is nana echampo so i have a very strong musical background yeah yeah and for a lot of people they might think ah the father was a superstar then this was actually meant to be right Mm -hmm. but not so much because you went to study but we'll get to that right then on the other side your mom has always thought you'll be a superstar the first time she had you sing, she was yeah. like, you want to be a superstar? Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Um, So growing up, yeah. one thing about my family is we always listen to music. Yeah. My dad um allowed us to enjoy music, so yeah. we all are strong lovers yeah. of music. Yeah. And one thing that my mom always did was she always made me perform in front of her mm-hmm. and her friends when they come around to the house every single time there wasn't a single day that she gave us a test and she wouldn't ask me to come and perform in front of them i never paid attention to what she was seeing mm-hmm. as at, at that time and um until i literally recorded my first single love is pretty yeah. but she had always seen what was actually in me from when i was young yeah before we get to Love is Pretty, because I know that's a reggae sound mm-hmm. and all of that, uh, your music started when you were in university, Kwame yeah. Nkuma University, we'll get to that, right? Like I said, I like getting to know some of my guests. Yeah. Do you still have a crush on Justin Bieber? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to see you really delved into the roots. <laughs> I remember I said this in an interview in 2019. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Oh, I had a crush on Justin Bieber when I was like really young, probably yeah. like eight, nine, ten, uh-huh. thereabouts. So, yeah. no, I don't have a crush on him anymore. <laughs> oh, Justin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting to know a Ghanaian artist. Her name is Jackie. She's joining us in studio. She had a bang mm-hmm. of a song that we had on the chart. She's dropped brand new music. We'll get to that, right? We're still getting to know you, right? Mm-hmm. What made you decide to go to Kwame Nkrumah um, University and more importantly, study international business? Right. So I studied business when I was in secondary school. Yeah. All my life, I I went to school in Kumasi. Kumasi is in the Ashanti region in yeah. Ghana. So when I um I applied for admission in three different universities and I got admission into KNUS, which is Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to continue the business course that I studied in secondary school. So I pursued international business yeah. and I graduated yeah. successfully. Mm-hmm. So look, her plan was to be a businesswoman. Uh, but there's a guy called Sosa, you know, Sosa met on campus, Nigerian guy. He's a producer. Sosa was out there with the beats, yo. <laughs> You're blowing my mind, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, like you really have, this has to be my first interview where you are literally just bringing out everything really? from the past, like yeah. deep down. Did you have any songwriting training and all of that? Or was all of this learned from observing your dad because I know you spent a lot of time in studio yeah um, no I didn't learn how to write music it actually just came naturally yeah. it came with um, the gifts that God gave to me and obviously some of the things that I also studied from my dad from when yeah. I was growing up as well yeah you know in South Africa there's this Nigerian artist um, we got a name wrong for so many like yeah, for many years if I could call it that right many people used to call it Asa mm. and it's actually Asha, 
all right oh. somebody that inspires you mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. see i'm just looking at you <laughs> like i'm just looking at you like he's just you're just blowing my mind yes look getting on a plane to come here <laughs> I should make it worthwhile. Yes, yes, I like Let's that. Let's talk about I that like inspiration that. from Asha. Yeah, what do you like about it? I listen to Asha every single time from mm-hmm. when I was young as well. Um, I fell in love with her sound, her lyrics, and her stagecraft as well. Yeah. And um, when I went to the UK last year, I was privileged to actually get to attend oh, one of her shows. Yeah. I was singing my lungs out back to back to back. So yeah. she inspires my music. I listen to her songs a lot. She's she's a legend to a yeah. lot of us. And yeah, I think her sound was what attracted me to be listening to her for yeah. a very long time. Just wrapping up that, I'd call it a chapter on people that inspire you. Stone Boy is also one of those. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've always wanted to work with them. Yes. Has that happened? No, it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. But um, it's it's in the pipeline. Yeah. For sure. I'm sure by now he knows who you are because you're in the same lineup with him. Yes, yes, I yes, mean. yes. And we've we've actually been able to share the stage together as oh, well. Yeah? Yes, yes. Now, have you not said, hey, how about we... No, we've actually spoken about it. Yeah. So we're going to work on a song and it will blow minds, obviously. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wrapping up the chart, uh, the part rather, where we get getting to know Jackie all the way from Ghana. She's here on a tour and we decided to call in studio because one of your songs did really, really well, right? Mm-hmm. You've been talking about the song uh, Love is Pretty yeah, as your first song, mm-hmm. right? What about Lollipop? <laughs> <sighs> wow. <laughs> I mean, she was still young then, oh, right? So she goodness. wrote about lollipops. No, 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 no. This is like, if this was an actual date, like yeah. you really just get my attention throughout ah, because you that. actually, <laughs> you actually went, you guys do not know how he really went. No, La- I don't Lollipop is a song that I recorded when I was like nine. Imagine. And no, <laughs> I'm really <laughs> impressed. But yeah, um, so Lollipop, I did that song and my, t- my dad took me to the studio. Yeah. Um, to just do some freestyle and I did that song with my brother yeah. and the song is it's, it's funny but it's good because mm-hmm. I actually wrote that song it's a song about toughies and you know kids and, and uh, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's quite quite interesting how mm-hmm. the content has changed now eh? yes yes and the has. older you grow the re- more you realize oh life is like this now yes, I can sing about yeah, this yeah right? yeah 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 for sure do you play lollipop sometimes be like oh man yeah Look um funny is. enough i actually it's just um it's a cd which we have in the house yeah but my manager actually has the the entire song on his song sometimes when i go for interviews oh, really? he would just surprise me and they'll just be playing it in the building yeah yeah Yeah. so um i've not listened to it in a while but okay. i only hear it when i go for interviews yeah. it's not funny okay. <laughs> okay. that's great man yeah jackie on the ultimate car 959 top 30 we're getting to know her she's got brand new music we'll get to that right Love is Pretty came out in Feb of 2019. Yeah. Uh, reception, you said, was really great, mm-hmm. right? And then you moved on to this EP, Seed. Yeah. Right? I want us to unpack some of the songs on Seed, but you mentioned that your dad took you into studio. You mm-hmm. recorded Lollipop, mm-hmm. right? If you haven't seen it yet, the cover of Seed is a young Jackie in studio with the father. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that day? Yes. Yeah, vividly. I remember it. it was a picture of me, my brother, and then my dad. Mm-hmm. And that was the day Lollipop was actually recorded. So okay. that picture yeah. was after we had recorded um, the song. A big shout out to my dad because that photo is very iconic. Yeah. yeah. So that was the 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 picture that we used for the cover art for my first EP, which is the CDP that we dropped in 2020, mm-hmm. um, August 2020. Yeah. It, um, yeah, it was a five track EP. Five track, yeah. Yes, the intro, Forever, um, Vacation, Wine, and then the Journey, which was the outro. And Vacation is your favorite. Yeah, Vacation is Why? my favorite. Because it's a different side of Jackie. It's a song that talks about um, being stress free, going on a vacation, living, um, being on a me time, mm. literally all those vibes. And so I feel like it's a song that I would listen to just relax my nerves. And yeah. it's, it's a different um, topic from the normal or the usual love songs that I do. Yeah. You know, I've had a lot of artists here for interviews and some would talk about the EP. And I'm like, which one is your favorite? And they always shy away from that. Like, nah, it's like asking a parent to choose between their kids. Mm-hmm. Why was it so easy for you to say five tracks, 
but vacation that's my song um yeah i feel like maybe i just wanted to be honest <laughs> yeah just to be honest <laughs> yeah. that's actually my favorite and yeah. i love all the songs but one that i usually play the most is vacation yeah and the other songs who did you work with um production wise and features right so um the cdp had no collaboration and um, the producers i worked with sosa i worked with um uh this guy young dems mm -hmm. i worked with uh who else did i work with um was it kubi who produced vacation yeah i worked with kubi and then yeah and then lindo f oh yeah lindo from south africa oh really <laughs> yes 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 how yes. did you hook up with him um so i've actually not met him in person yet yeah. but um you know i usually get beats in yeah, my yeah, mail so these days yeah so i have my email in my bio so he sent a couple of beats and yeah. then i picked that particular one for the yeah. project yeah if i want to send you beats right now what kind of style you know because for a lot of people we know jackie afro beats first song was reggae mm -hmm. right now in south africa my piano is taking over mm -hmm. i could feel like i need you on my piano beat like yeah if i want to send you something right now what should i say yeah so i'm a versatile artist i do afro fusion so i do every genre of music reggae gospel i'm a piano uh, um, afro beats every genre of music you can yeah. just send it through so far as i end up falling in love with it i'm definitely going to jump on it and i love 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 i'm a piano yeah i love my piano so much i have an my piano song with major league djs it was okay. on their album mm -hmm. it's called focus on the beats yeah mm -hmm. all right all right jackie in studio uh you said you do gospel as well yeah i have a gospel song i dropped okay. it in 2020 it's called nanenyame nanenyame is uh, it means god in tree yeah and you know she's not just doing gospel for the vibes yeah uh, one thing through me digging i found out that the first thing she does every single morning without fail is pray did you pray today? No, I didn't pray today, but I prayed. So, okay. I prayed yesterday. So I just lied. <laughs> that I just lied. <laughs> no, you didn't lie. I didn't want to lie to you. Yeah, I didn't pray Why today, did you pray but today? I, I prayed yesterday. Because um, South Africa has got bad vibes. Imagine running. the one day she's here. She no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow, man, this is somebody who prays every day. No, but yesterday yeah. I was here. I prayed oh, yesterday. Did you pray? Yes, I okay. prayed yesterday. Okay. Cool. That's mm -hmm. dope. That's dope. Mm -hmm. Why do you believe in prayer so much? Um, first of all, um, I grew uh, my family. I'm from a Christian background. My mm -hmm. mom, every single time, morning, afternoon, evening, you have to pray. Yeah. They get to. So um, I grew up around Christianity, and I've had a lot of experiences in life that makes me know that this faith is actually what it what it is yeah you get it and so um i believe in christianity i believe in god and then that is just what is going to be for eternity yeah <laughs> all right and then forever happened what a song yeah what happened there right forever is the second song on my first ep the seed ep mm -hmm. i wrote this song when we were experiencing lockdown in the world and then in Ghana as well. So yeah. um, after that time, we were on a two week lockdown where we're not allowed to go out. Mm -hmm. So during that period, I was doing a lot of things. Um, I was writing a lot of music. I was being a lot more creative, learning new things. So um, during that period, I actually wrote more songs that, than I would write on a daily because yeah, yeah. every time I was listening to a lot of beats. So Forever happened to be one of the, the the songs that I got during that period, the producer who produced the song when he was on the sea, that's mm. what he said. Oh, okay. yeah. And then he sent me the beats. I listened to that beat like I was listening to an actual music yeah. because the beat was very serene and I loved it so much. So there and then I listened to it, I wrote to it. And when we were released from the lockdown, I went straight into the studio in Kumasi and then I wrote the song and when the song came out it was doing so so good that was a song that was doing very well on the mm -hmm. EP that and then I think wine yeah. and in 2020 it was doing very well in Ghana and then um, some countries but it wasn't as loud until it started um, entering the Nigerian charts yeah. and then from there um, it went to East Africa penetrated into the rest of the world basically yeah. and it became a part of my biggest records ever. And Omale on the remix? Yeah, so the original was on the project. Yeah. And then after the project came out, um, Omale did the remix with me. 
and that came up. Did he call you up? He's like, damn, this is hot. I want to jump on. Like, no, we reached out to his okay. to his team, yeah. and then he mentioned that he was he was already in love with the song, yeah. and so it was even easier for the whole connection, the collaboration okay. to happen. Yeah, I want to break down the first two lines of the song. You talk about your mind mm. and your heart beating mm-hmm. for somebody. Mm-hmm. Who's that somebody? It's you. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. Yeah, All right. it's you. So now you know when you sing the song, think about me, right? Yeah, so yeah it's, that's it's me, it. right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. And then my diary EP followed up, obviously, after the success of the remix, mm-hmm. getting on charts. Because we had the remix on the chart for many, many weeks, I think. Yes. 14 or 15 weeks or something like that, you know? Yeah. That's how I got to know about you. And right. then I was like, who's this person? And then obviously the research. I was getting a lot know? of DMs from my fans here in really? South Africa. And so like, like you mentioned before, that song. you mentioned before we got on set that why wasn't I here during that period? Because it was really banging here. Yeah. But unfortunately, because of the pandemic during that period, I couldn't get to perform the song yeah. anywhere. I was literally just enjoying the song on the internet. Really? So now is the time that I've gotten to move around and so I mean the song is still banging so we can no, no, still for enjoy sure. it. If, yes. you, if you play it now it's still yes you know? it's still banging so it's it's good you mentioned something interesting about enjoying the song on the internet right when you go through your TikToks Instagrams and all of that the love you're getting how does that make you feel it's exciting um, waking up every day and seeing that the people that have, have always loved you they still do love you and for they sure. always want to hear more of you it, it, it gives me this form of motivation to keep doing what I'm doing yeah and then Davido on my diary, how did you get him? Yeah, so my diary is my second EP yeah. that um came out after so many months of me not dropping music and mm-hmm. it's because I wanted to bring out a very beautiful piece for the fans. And Davido blessed the projects with the song, the fifth song, which is called Flames. Mm-hmm. It's a big, big, big tune, a beautiful song, Flames with Davido. So this EP is a six track EP okay. with one collaboration. We have The Audience, we have Far Away, um, Flames, Waka Waka for mm-hmm. My Baby. And uh, have I mentioned all the songs? Yeah. And yeah. so um, this EP came out, the fans love it. And we have, to, oh, and then something, oh, how did I forget? That was actually also part of the big songs on the EP. Yeah. The video for something is on YouTube. The video for, for My Baby as well is on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And we're planning on shooting music videos for all the songs on it. For Waka Waka, some, um, for Waka, Waka Flames, mm-hmm. Far Away, and then Audience. Yeah. So You know, when I saw the playlist, I was like, Waka Waka. Is this a 2010 FIFA World Cup song? Mm-hmm. What's going on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell mm-hmm. me about that. Yes, yes. Waka Waka <laughs> is a different a different type of Jackie mm-hmm. this song I went in hard it's a dance or break a tune where I went really crazy on that I spoke about a lot of things that I don't usually say out there in the public and yeah. so when you listen to the song I pay attention to the lyrics you'll be like who are you fighting madam mm-hmm. yeah because there, there was a whole lot that I said in it and a lot of people loved it because it was a different genre and a different side of me yeah you know you started I'd say professionally, 2019, mm. you know, as a musician. Mm-hmm. Three years later, your career is done, you know? There's people who've been doing it for like 10 years and they're mm. still trying to get that one big song. Mm-hmm. Doesn't it scare you that things are moving too quickly at some time? Um, no, I feel like it, with this generation, everything is just moving so swiftly. Yeah. And so it's either you are you are moving in that pace or you are slowing down and just leaning behind. So. Um, of course, sometimes I do get surprised at how some songs pick so quick. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I believe that because we're also in... Everybody's literally on social media now. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's quicker and easier for your songs to reach certain markets. And it also depends on how good you promote your songs yeah. and all of that. And so sometimes I do get surprised. But other times I'm like, girl, I've been working so hard. Yeah, and so yeah, I yeah. deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she really has been working so hard mm. man she's been working so hard that in september you know we had a global citizen concert here in south africa where we had beyonce jay-z and all of that mm-hmm. on stage crazy 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 concert happened one of the biggest venues we have here um fnb stadium okay. takes about ninety thousand people right mm. in september you'll be on a global citizen concert stage yeah yeah, this September, um, 24th September, yeah. in Accra, Ghana, mm-hmm. at the Black Star Square, the mm-hmm. Global Citizen Festival. 
the biggest, like you said. Yeah. And I'm honored to be a part of the great, great performers, perf- performers that are going to be on the show. So, yeah. I mean, I'm getting ready to give the fans a blast, a big performance. Yeah. This concert is not child's play. No. This concert is not performing in a canteen at uh, Kwame Nkrumah mm-mm, University, mm-mm, you know. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. This is the real. I'd deal. be scared if I. Were this you. is the How real. How are you deal. feeling though? This is the real. This deal. is really big. Yes. Um. I mean, we're looking forward to even like starting to rehearse my performances yeah. till we get to the show because this is going to be. This has to be. No. Yes. This is going to be my biggest. Yeah. Um. Stage. Sure. Um. Ever since I started doing music, and so I'm really going to put in my all, my body, my spirit, my soul, every single thing. So if you'll be able to be in Accra on 24th, just make sure you pass through yeah, the show. Because this will definitely put you on a global map. Yeah, yeah, you know? for sure. Talking about global map, you had a crush on Justin Bieber, it's gone. Stone Boy, somebody you wanted to work with. Mm-hmm. You've met him a couple of times. Right now, you can literally work with anybody you want. Do you have a hit list of, I'd like to work with that guy one day. Yeah, um, well, since I'm in South Africa, maybe I can just mention some artists from here. Yeah. I would love to work with Nasty C. I would love to work with um, Ami Faku. Yeah. I would love to work with her so, so much. Yeah. She's on top of my list. What do you love about her? I like, love her voice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love her voice. I yeah. love. She makes every song so spiritual. Yeah. And um, I was even listening to her this morning. For so. Sure. If she ever hears this, please, I'm looking for you, madam. And mm-hmm. I would love to work with Shekaina. She's she's my friend, so Definitely. I'd love to work with her. Yeah. Rolene. Oh, and then Blackie. Did I get the name right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's yeah. It. yeah. Blackie, yeah. So I'd love to work with him as well. Um, yeah. See, I listen to a lot of my piano. You really Some do. of them, I don't really know how to pronounce the name, so I don't sure. want to disgrace myself. But yeah. yeah, I'm just hoping any of them that I get to end up in the studio with yeah. is going to bang for sure. You know, and with Blackie, just to put it out there, you have a similar story with him because he also started now now during Bla- uh, the lockdown. Oh. But he's not a superstar. So, right, you know. right, but right. But anyway. Yes, he's good. And then uh, Flip the Music. Mm-hmm. You know, every time I watch your videos, I was like, that Flip the Music thing. Mm-hmm. What What's that about? Flip the Music is that over there. <laughs> <laughs> he is Flip the Music. Yes, yeah, so yeah. he's the man behind Flip the Music yeah. and... That is my label. That's the label that I got signed to yeah. in the beginning of my career and even till now. Yeah. And it has been a solid, solid um, journey. And the only way is the top. So the flip the music that you hear every time in the songs is the label that I'm signed to. And he is the CEO of Flip the Music. Yeah. Your family, how do they feel about you being the superstar, taking after your dad? They're so happy. My dad, my mom, my extended family, my yeah. siblings, everybody is just so happy because aside the fact that I'm doing what my dad did years ago, yeah. um, the name of the family, their sister, their daughter, their relative is heading to the top and they've been super supportive of it. And so it's also one thing that gives me the the ground to be able to keep doing what I'm doing, knowing very well that my family is also being supportive. Okay? Yeah, you know in South Africa, when you're a child, right, your parents would send you to the shops whenever. They'll send you go make me tea whenever. Mm-hmm. Do they do that to you at home? I mean, they used to do that at first, but now they're like, okay, let's chill. Let's what? Let's chill let's <laughs> <laughs> She's too famous to be making tea <laughs> now. <laughs> But I mean, sometimes you still have to do that daughter role whether yeah. you like it or not. Yeah. All right, all right. Brilliant stuff, man. Jackie, wishing you all the best. Besides the concert in September, what else can we expect from you uh, as we try to pass you a message there? There's something we want you to mention, you know? Yeah. Um. Aside Global Citizen. No, you you aside. There's something that I'd like you to mention. Shana, yeah. You know? Aside Global Citizen, I'm working on so many things. Yeah. I mean, the EP just dropped. And so... Um, we're shooting music videos, we're doing media tour, yeah. and aside that too, I'm looking forward to playing a lot of shows around the yeah. world. So you'll be seeing a lot more of Jackie um, this trip, and then, I mean, the coming months ahead. Yeah. All right. Jackie, all the way from Ghana, coming through, just getting to know her forever. The remix was on the chart for yeah. many, 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 many weeks. Yeah. And the EP you're talking about is My Diary, right? Yes. That's the one yes, pushing. Yes, My Diary. Push That's what we're pushing. We're trying to push every single yeah. song on the project. Yeah. I mean, we are trying to aim at making all the songs do well in so many countries around the world, just as forever yeah. did. Yeah. All right. 
Anything else you want to wrap up with? Yeah, uh, before I leave, a big shout to my big family, Sony Music. Mm -hmm. Yes, I joined the family in 2020. And ever since, the journey has just been super exciting, super amazing. And everybody should look forward to big things. And so, I mean, when I got signed to Sony Music, it yeah. was a big deal. For when sure. I, yeah, when yeah, I yeah. made the announcement in Ghana, everybody was like, oh my God, Jackie got signed to Sony Music. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, the family has been good. I'm very happy. And I know that the future is looking very exciting. We love forever. Mm -hmm. Do you mind wrapping up with the first two lines of that song? Yeah. Since they sure. dedicated to me, I might mm -hmm. as well just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> my mind is for you. And my heart is for you. Every time when I think of you, I don't know. I gave you four lines. <laughs> My name is Jackie. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for coming through. Thank eh? you for having me. I had a good time. <laughs>